Hi, it's Wendy, and I believe that I can make you love to exercise. So this hypnosis session that you're going to be listening to is to get you excited about exercising and make your body actually crave it. Isn't that cool? I've done this with thousands of people and it works so well. And now this session is free right here on YouTube for you to listen to. All I need you to do is make sure you subscribe so all the free sessions that I'm going to put up, you'll get notified and click the little bell and then uh, tell your friends. So you have some friends that might be a little lazy and might say, I just don't want to exercise because like, I don't like exercising. But why not tell them that, hey, this hypnosis session really did the trick for me. Now I'm going running every day. So when we do this hypnosis, it's going to make your body actually crave movement. And you're not going to feel like you want to sit down and just do nothing all day. You're going to want to get up or hit the floor and do some floor exercises and just get the juices flowing. And then also I've put suggestions in there about how much better you feel when you exercise, how much clearer your brain is, how much energy you have, how much happier you are, how much more you get looks from people going like, wow, look at that. Mm. <laughs> anyway, it will be fun. You will tell your friends. I will be back at the end of the video. If you want to buy the Love to Exercise program, go to my website. The link's down there. The code is love exercise. Now make that all one word. It's kind of long, but love exercise. That's the code. It'll take 30% off. All right. I'll be back after your hypnosis session. Take a nice deep breath. Let it out. And just let your body begin to relax. You're going to allow yourself to enter a wonderfully deep state of trance where you'll activate your love of exercise. So take another deep breath. Let it out and as you do, sink and float down even deeper. Those thoughts that swirl around in your head will seem to guide you, to guide you to think about exercise. So you may notice so many thoughts and ideas, many images of the past, when you think about exercising, there's just many images that float through your mind. And now there's something different that you'll experience, something that you can remember about things that you love to do. You begin to notice that there are some things that you crave. Perhaps a good conversation with a close friend or a warm, soft, sandy beach, a place where you don't have a care in the world, maybe a hug from someone who truly loves you, a nice, soft, fluffy feather pillow, or the feel of the sun, just the right temperature on your skin. You might remember the feeling of rolling around with a little puppy as a young child maybe laughing about something that was so funny that you couldn't stop yourself. There are some things that you love to do. Maybe you remember something simple, like a warm cup of tea, the aroma and the warmth of the cup in your hand, and the soothing sensation of the tea going down into your body. Maybe you remember a rainstorm that cleans the air, that cleanses everything around and allows things to grow, seedlings to burst into life like ideas ready to bloom, little shoots of green that reach for the sun wanting more, craving more of the life-giving source. There are some things that you know that you crave. Perhaps you could go back to a time when you took a wonderful walk, a brisk, energizing walk. You remember the feeling of wanting to walk, to breathe, to work your muscles and walk faster and get stronger. As you remember what it was like, to go for that walk, you feel your heart 
pumping the oxygen-rich blood to your body. You can feel your muscles right now stretching and working with each step. You remember now that you want that feeling. Your arms pumping, your legs stretching and moving. There are some things that you crave. Maybe you remember who you walked with. Remember the conversation you had. Maybe you remember walking by yourself and enjoying the power, the intention and the pride of doing this on your own. Maybe your body and mind remembers at the end of your walk. Your body remembers and your mind remembers how good this feels now to feel this relaxed. This relaxation that you only get from working your body, pushing it forward, energizing your muscles, grabbing on to the life when your heart sends oxygen into your blood, to your brain and your body. You remember this, don't you? Your mind remembers. There are some things you crave. You love the sensation of exercising and working out your body, walking strong and hard because it's what you do. It's what you love. The endorphins you feel at the end of your walk flood your body with contentment with pride and a sense of power, don't they? You love that feeling, don't you? You crave that feeling, don't you? Yes. Now you may remember a time when you worked out in a gym or on a treadmill or with free weights. A time when you pushed your muscles to be stronger giving your muscles more of what you really want. What you really want. More strength, more definition, more character in your muscles. What do you really want? You can be there right now, aren't you? Maybe you already are. You work the muscle, feel the strength, harder, stronger, firmer. You love the feeling of pushing your muscles to the limit. Feel the strength. It increases every time you work out. You remember, don't you? Your body remembers. You worked out in your past. A time when you were pumped, excited, so ready that nothing could stop you from getting your workout. Your heart pumped the oxygen-rich blood to your brain. Your mind felt clear and at the end of the workout, after you worked your muscles stronger, harder, deeper, you felt the strength increasing, the muscle growing, and you loved, craved the good kind of tired at the end of your workout. Then the calm of the endorphins you remember, don't you? The feeling of the endorphins rushing through your body and your mind, the pride you feel from such a great workout. There are some things that you crave, aren't there? Yes. You love that feeling. Yes. There may have been a time that you remember when you did some mindful yoga or stretching, maybe your mind goes back there right now. You feel the stretch as your muscles reach and your soul experiences the expansion of your spirit, the stretching of your muscles like an expression of the stretching of your spirit. You feel that lengthening, your spine getting longer, your joints becoming more flexible. Yes. You remember that, don't you? Yes. 
There are some things you want now. Yes. How good it feels to work your body. There are some things that you crave. Yes. The feeling of doing the yoga, the stretching, it expands your mind, brings you new thought, new awareness. Your muscles crave, desire that stretch even now. You want it because there are some things you love, some things you crave. At the end of the wonderful yoga session, you realize how much you want to reach for more life, reach for more health, expand your spirit, and you feel those endorphins even now while you remember, yes. The contentment and the calm as you breathe a wonderful, peaceful feeling at the end of your workout. Oh, there are some things that you crave that you must have that you want now, aren't there? Yes. And in a few moments, you're going to be opening your eyes and you're going to go about your day You'll make some choices about what's most important to you. What's most important to you? What is most important to you? When you make these choices, you know what's most important to you. What is most important to you? What is most important to you? the things that affect every part of your life, the one thing that affects your thoughts, your appetite, your attitude, your energy, your long life, your relationships, your pride in your body, your metabolism, your weight, and your spiritual expression of yourself. What is most important to you? Whenever you think about exercising, when you have just a thought about working out, you'll realize instantly that there are some things that you crave, that you want, that you must have. Isn't that true? Yes. I can only imagine what you might experience and what you might feel when you suddenly realize, just like that, that there are some things you crave, like me, things you want and desire, as I do, some things you must have. And any time you think about exercising, you know what you want. Any time you think about working out, every time you look at your workout shoes, any time you look at your gym bag, every time you notice the place that you work out and exercise, at the gym or at home, even the street that you run on, a wonderful surge of energy will come over you. You'll take a deep breath and you'll realize that there are some things that you crave. When you're working out, stretching, strengthening your muscles, walking, running, feeling the oxygen, loving yourself so much because you do this, because you love your life, you'll notice, just as I have, that you simply love to work out, don't you? Yes, now. This is a feeling that you want, isn't it? 
There are some things that are important to you. What is important to you? What is truly important to you? Your soul knows that exercise and movement, working out, is what you live for. You love to exercise. Right now, in your mind, catch a glimpse of your gym bag, your shoes, the street that you run on, the path where you walk. Breathe. Feel that surge coming up from the very base, the very core of you, telling you now what is important, what you want, what you must have. Think about exercise right now. There are some things that you crave. Like me, there are things that you want. Some things that you know you must have more of. Any moment that you think about exercise, you find that everything you need to have your workout right now is ready because you want this feeling, that good kind of tired, the endorphins, the strength, the health, the stretch, reaching with your spirit for more life and the pride that you have when you do what you truly want to do. Deeper, yes, this is what you want. There are some things you crave. Take a deep breath. Feel it. You want it. Your muscles talk to you and say, give it to me now. In a moment, you're going to open your eyes. I'm sure you're ready to get out and move and get into gear to love your life. Feel that pride. Feel your body pumping, your lungs breathing, your muscles moving. You crave that workout. So in a moment, you're going to take three deep breaths. Your eyes will open wide. You'll be ready to do what you love, what you crave, having the best workout ever, stronger, more endurance, more love for your body with every breath you breathe. Ready? One deep breath. Breathe it in. Feel it. Your arms reaching, your legs stretching. Good. Another deep breath. Breathe it in. Feel it. You're almost ready to get up. Jump into action now. One more deep breath. Good. Now open your eyes. You know that you love to exercise. You can't wait. You crave and want this workout. Take that deep breath. Let your eyes open and know that you're ready to feel this good right now. Hey, you're back. How did you like that session? I'd really like to know. If you want to ask questions, you can put them in the comments. Or if you have questions for me about hypnosis or what you experienced or you're not sure how something worked, you can always go to my website at wendy.com, wendy with an I, and you can contact me there and I will answer your questions for you. So how do you feel? Do you feel like you have something that shifted in your brain that you're kind of feeling like you want to go for a run or at least a brisk walk or you want to do some planks or whatever it is you love to do? Are you having that feeling from the session? Well, make sure you use it more than once. You need to have some repetition in your brain to get past some of the blocks that you might have had and some of the things that were keeping you from exercising. Now, if you want the full program that is going to help you not only love to exercise, but to be able to eat healthier foods and stop your sugar cravings or get you to not eat crap anymore, you can do that by going to my site at wendy.com. The link down below is for the Zen of Thin program which is a, a program with, I don't know, the prior like 15 hypnosis sessions or so. And I'm going to have you take 30% off so you can experience the entire program and really get your life together. Can you imagine having all that energy and sleeping great and get rid of cravings and just feel really good and your body's going to be all buff and you're going to be sexy and you're going to be, yeah, you're going to be making it. 
All right, well, you go to the link below. Make sure you are subscribed and you hit the dinger button.